Hello everyone and welcome to the YT Gaming 88 YouTube channel and this is Promoting Palace episode number 3. So here we are in the first game against Barnsley, the first game at home and hopefully after the disappointing game against Millwall we will bounce straight back, hopefully, as fingers crossed. This was a great little ball, look at the speed from Balassi there. And how close can you get? That was so unlucky. Um, they do get a break here. As I, get, as I say in the previous episode, guys, my defence is absolutely shocking. And this was a great example of it. Look at this. They just walked through. And my players were sliding around, diving around all over the place. And were absolutely nowhere near the ball whatsoever. And all he had to do... Was simply look at that challenge nowhere to be seen he just rolled the ball into the back of the net and we're one nil down after 18 minutes and then look at this from the great through ball and he's gone round the keeper and two nil down after 22 minutes i was having an absolute nightmare in this game it was ah oh, unbelievable the through ball was absolutely amazing but then look at this keepers nowhere to be seen again his first touch was excellent so I had a lot of work to do in this game to even get it back level. 23 minutes, I went straight back down and bang, rolled that in the bottom corner. Glenn Murray again. What an opening 25 minutes of this game there was. Like three goals and I was kind of sort of half back in it again. Um, after the 31st minute, uh, this is Doby. Great bit of skill here. Lays it off and then the shot agonizingly wide by Glenn Murray that little through ball there and Murray again oh how can he not score kept it alive good powerful header great save and how did a foe miss that oh that was absolutely shocking and then look at this speaking of shocking my defense is awful I think going into the transfer market before it ends I'm gonna have to try and bolster up my defense if I can and um, they were all over me it was a good block and he kept it alive. Cross comes back in. And oh, an easy header for Dawson on the 45th minute. And at half time, I was 3-1 down in my second game. Or second league game, sorry. Um, I had a lot of work to do in this second half. It was a great through ball. And Jadanic, great strike. And it was so powerful that the keeper could not keep it out. Um it's a little bit lucky, to be honest. He hit it nice and hard. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> and, but the, it was so powerful that the keeper couldn't keep it out. And then I was on up for it, guys, because I know I was only one goal away. It was a great fruit ball. Poor defending. Glenn Murray shows his strength there. And just blasts it and off the post. And I was absolutely screaming at the computer here. Like, how can it not go in? Actually, a good bit of defending there for once. Give the ball away. Won it back. Give it away again. And look at this. They come straight back at me. More poor defending. To be fair, they were passing it around me pretty well. And then this little ball over the top. And I thought it was a penalty. But luckily for me, it was actually class as an offside and as you can see here he just was offside there um, so a little bit of a lucky escape there and coming into the 75th minute again Balassi's got such great pace and great bit of skill it was a good strike there easily saved another through ball and Balassi again smashes it just over again and I was having so much possession so much chances and this is the 90th minute I thought yes come on and Balassi messes up. So that's how it ended and a loss there. Going into our second game here against Blackburn Rovers. Um, newly relegated as well, of course. Obviously not now because this season was 2013. Um, but Balassi here showing his great pace. is a lovely little ball in. But no one there and they just block it. And then from this, from my own attack... Look at this, guys. They kept possession, passing it around nicely, kept it there. Again, more poor defending. Look at this little dink over the top. 
and David Bentley absolutely skill scores me and scores after 10 minutes. Look at this. Oh, pass one, pass two, and then slots it in the bottom corner. And then look at this again. Over the top. This is two minutes later. Bentley again, but Delaney in the right place at the right time there. And again, 16 minutes gone. Another little ball over the top. And this time, they're just passing it around off the post. And then it falls back to David Bentley. I couldn't believe my luck here. And he manages to slot it home into an empty net after the rebound off the post. Look at this. this how unlucky can you get? Nice little pass there. Off the post. Off my goalkeeper. And then into David Bentley. And I was 2-0 down after 20 minutes. And... Again, I had to up my game. Williams with a great little ball. And then look at this. Zaha absolutely smashes it. It was back from injury. And I think this was his first game played. And look at this strike. No wonder Man United wanted him. It was a great strike. Or got him, I should say. <laughs> and then this again. Wilfred's out to Zaha again. Great bit of skill. And absolutely another stunning goal he just absolutely belts it into the bottom corner after skewing up the defenders look at this it was overstep and again step over again and then smashes it in so back to 2-2 and then look at this Wilfred Zaha has just got bundles and bundles of pace great bit of skill and why did I try to finesse shot it in there um, finesse shots in FIFA 13 are shocking, absolutely shocking. Um, but par here, as a left back, coming so close there to putting us in the lead. And then 42nd minute, Zaha's in again. Put your money on him. Hat-trick hero after 44 minutes, after being 2-0 down as well. Wilfred Zaha goes scores a first-half hat-trick. And puts me 3-2 up at half time. And I was thinking, just keep it, just keep it, just keep it. And then again, nice bit of defending this time. But what is Baroni doing there? He Instead of just picking it up from the header backwards, he parries it out. And luckily for me, manages to save the rebound strike. And then from that, I go straight up the other end. And Murray here showing his strength. And it wasn't, a, it wasn't a bad shot. It was just wide there. And again, more pace by Zaha. And Ward, good cross, gets it back in. And Williams, oh, what a save by Paul Robinson there. Absolutely great save. And then a little ball over the top. And Zaha has got that pace again. Good strike off the post. And that would have been his fourth goal if that had gone in. And after 77 minutes, I was just praying that I would hold this win. Um, Blackburn kept coming at me, kept coming at me. And as you know, I cannot defend to save my life. And in the 80th minute, Rhodes scores. This pass here absolutely did me. And this one again. And it's a simple tap-in for Jordan Rhodes. And that's how it finished, guys. It was 3-3. Um, I was lucky to get back to 3-3, to be honest. Um, next game was against Huddersfield. And Huddersfield was a tough game. This was a tough game. They kept coming and coming. And first 10 minutes, that's right. There's a surprise. I lose the lead or lose lose the first goal as per normal. And I'm 1-0 down after 10 minutes. This was an actual good pass here. This one, little pass, and then slots it in the bottom corner. And after 12 minutes, so two minutes later, I come up the other end. Little cut back. Williams, how did this go in? I have no idea. Um, I've taken another replay here. The curl on this ball was absolutely unbelievable. It's a great angle here. Look. Oh, I don't know how that went in, but it was a great strike anyway. And then I was thinking, I need to push on from this. I need really need to push on because I need to win some games now. Um, after losing my first one, then tying my second one, it wasn't a good, the best start to the season. And then Huddersfield, that was a great save by Spironi there. It was a great cross as well, but Spironi equal to the strike. And Huddersfield were absolutely all over me in this game. And again, Spironi coming to save the day there and keep it at 1-1. And they get a lucky deflection here. Cuts back inside, passing it 
all around me. My defence don't know what to do. And then Spironi makes another great save, which was unbelievable. So going into the second half now, this is the 52nd minute. Williams again with a great bit of skill. He's got a good strike on him, but the keeper was equal to it there. And there you see they're making a the change. And I get a corner. And from that corner, it fell out to par. And par's shot was not the best strike. But Janik kept it in. And look at that little bit of pace there. Good cross. Fell to Balassi. And how close can you get? The keeper just tipping it over the crossbar there. And here was Glenn Murray with a bit of... What a pass that was. That was unbelievable. And Zaha, another great save by the goalkeeper. I could not get that ball in the back of the net to save my life. 68th minute here. Ball over the top. And Balassi just using his pace and... Oh, the keeper was absolutely on fire today. And here was a Fobe, Another good save. Rebound header. Just wide. And that's how it ended, guys. 1-1 one, one against Huddersfield. So not the best start to the season. Going into the last game of this episode. And this was against Derby County away. And I really needed to win, guys. Because it wasn't, as I said, it wasn't the best start to the season. But Lassie's pace in this game has phenomenal great cutback and there it was Glenn Murray yet again saving my bacon and for one of the first times this season I've actually taken the lead first um which was amazing it's a good volley um he's never going to save that and it was thanks to Belassi's pace down this outside and Janik puts a great cross in here cut back first pulls it back and then Glenn Murray little ball into Belassi and what a strike that is. Oh, I was absolutely screaming my my flat down here. Um, this was a great little pass in. And then look at this. Great first touch and then bang into the side net in 2 nil up. 30 minutes gone. And look at this. Zaha is in again. And I decided to get very sweaty. <laughs> and I had to. I needed the three points. Glenn Murray's there. 33 minutes gone. Wilfred Zaha with the assist and he's never going to miss there even though it was pretty close it was almost straight at the goalkeeper and look at the pace I keep going on about Balassi's pace but he is really quick the cut back there was Williams just wide it's going in second half now guys Derby County did have that effort there and so close to scoring 80 minutes here I was thinking Thanks for the three points. Um, tried to push on, try and get a couple more goals. And Dicker Choi here, little cut back to Balassi and just wide there. And Derby count, that was a free kick there completely, but they kept possession. Good little through ball. Great nutmegs through my legs. And they do get one back after 90 minutes. And then I thought, uh oh, they're going to score again here after 90 minutes. But then it was a lucky miss. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.